and it's a beautiful evening across the Pine Belt. As you can see, Circle C tractor sitting at 83 degrees. A beautiful evening out in Waynesboro right now. Not really much to show it going on outside of the sunshine. A few high cirrus clouds and guess what? That's what they're also seeing out in Columbia. The complete opposite side of the viewing area at Walt Massey Ford. They're currently at 85 degrees out there this evening. Clouds are still out there this afternoon. You can see some of those daytime heating clouds, little puffy cum uh, cumulus clouds. We always say a little like cotton balls because they kind of do and then you got some high serious clouds coming out of the Gulf of Mexico but it wasn't enough to keep us on the cool side we still got hot this afternoon we all made it up into the upper 80s now we're seeing a range from the mid to the upper 80s across the board this evening currently it's 86 in Foxworth uh, Bassfield at 85 Taylorsville you're at 86 it's 84 in Moselle and 88 out towards New Augusta this evening. It's a hot one across the Pine Belt and temperatures will fall over the next several hours from the 80s back into the 70s. Sky is going to be partly cloudy. No big problems this evening. The weather will cooperate for whatever plans you may have here over the next several hours. So it's going to be a beautiful night. Hopefully you can get outside and enjoy this really nice weather. Oh, as we go into the overnight hours, temperatures are going to cool down into the mid 60s. So we'll start off your day with some pretty nice weather. Not really bad out there. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. I think we'll see a few more clouds and temperatures are going to warm up into the mid 80s by lunchtime, but it's still going to be a hot day. Highs right around 86, 87 once again. We may see a few pop up showers. Futurecast is not being very aggressive with that. Uh, so um, like I said over the past couple of days, these are going to be very splash or dash. A lot of people are not going to get in on the action tomorrow in terms of showers, so very few and far between, but there will at least be a 20 to 30% chance of rain, mainly during lunchtime and into the afternoon hours. But again, this is slim pickings uh, at this time, but there'll be just enough uh, moisture in the atmosphere to maybe squeeze out a few showers. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to want a shower or two as we go towards the weekend, because look at our temperatures warming up in a big way from 87 Thursday to 93 Saturday, 94 degrees on Sunday say it isn't so I wish it wasn't but unfortunately I think that's going to be the case so I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be a great weekend to go get into the pool with the temperatures getting that hot just be sure to put on that sunscreen because burn time will be high at about 10 minutes great weather to go to the pool great weather to maybe head down to the coast to beat the heat but it's definitely going to be hot this weekend and temperatures once we get into the 90s are basically going to stay there for the foreseeable future i think tomorrow will be our last 80 degree day for a while 90s for highs over the next several afternoons it's definitely looking hot and humid here across the area and as you'll notice temperatures next week no big changes, and that's going to be the same case with our rain chances and the forecast for every single day. A summertime forecast, highs in the 90s, a few clouds, maybe a pop-up shower, but a lot of things just kind of staying the same over the next several days. But I'm going to tell you, we got some changes coming. Tomorrow's June 1st, and that means we are just under six hours until the hurricane season starts. And for more on that, let's toss it to Rex. Yeah, Patrick, the hurricane season begins at midnight tonight, and just as if on cue, we have a tropical disturbance in the uh, central Gulf of Mexico. And it's forecast to move down toward the southeast, maybe toward the east like that. It's not coming towards the Pine Belt, so don't worry about this particular system. As a matter of fact, the more it moves east, we may get on the west side of the system, and that could bring some drier and hotter air to us. Kerry, Michael, over to you. All right, Rex and Patrick.